guys, welcome back. Last Moon Gaming, another music reaction for you. And welcome back for my second reaction video of today. Um, if you missed the early reaction to Love Bites' cover of Judas Priest's Painkiller, well then, make sure you check it out after this. Uh, all I'm going to say is that the goddesses of heavy metal take on a god of heavy metal, and you will not be disappointed in the outcome. Uh, right now, we're going to take a look at the last song that I need to hear from the Heavy Metal Never Dies live in Tokyo 2021 show, and that song is The Unbroken. Um, now, what that means now is I, I will have two complete Love Bites concerts uh, where I've heard every song, which means they both have now made it onto my live streaming list for future live streams on Twitch. Um, so look forward to that coming out. Uh, let's just not waste any more time right now and check this out. We're checking out The Unbroken. Um, if you have a request and want it pushed to the front of the line, or you'd like early access to videos and other exclusive content, then join us on Buy Me A Coffee and help support the channel. Simply click the link in the description below and, and you can find everything we have to offer. Regardless of what you choose, your support is always appreciated. Finally, don't forget to show your support by liking, subscribing, hitting that notification bell, and leaving any suggestions in the comment section below all of that helps our channel grow. I want Love Bites to, to when they tour to come to the United States at some point and come to a city near me. So let's get their name out there, get the videos out there. More and more people see them, the more likely they are to blow up in the United States. And then Glass Moon Gaming is happy because they will come to a city near me. Yay. Anyway, let's get to the video. Link to the original, as always, will be in the description below. Here we go. Well, that's a new sound for him. This is a really interesting sound coming from them. Um, it's almost bluesy. It's got a little bit of blues rock in there. It's definitely not as heavy as they normally are, which is which is fine. It's good for a change of pace. Um, still really grungy and dirty, and almost has a swing shuffle feel to it. Uh, in fact, you can hear Haruna every now and then throw a swing pattern on the ride, which is neat. Very neat. I like it. I really, really like it. Oh, yeah, I like this is. That was a really nice chorus. I like the way it progressed through the different chords and just the, the way it came out is really, really good.
I love seeing Miho dead center. Up in center, up in front. She's even technically in front of Asami right now. Because she's a little bit further forward. And that's awesome. Still a shame that she's gone, but I heard someone say like by the end of this summer or next month that they're going to announce or they're, they're planning to announce their new bass player. Awesome. That's going to be an exciting time. Exciting time for Love Bite fans in the Wolfpack. Okay, I don't mean this job, but we're going to listen to the whole thing again, but I had to because I saw Asami uh, spin the stars. <laughs> Sorry. That's why we're watching it again. Spinny. <laughs> Wow, I just... Here's Eminem. I mean, the, the solos were, you know, fantastic as always. And even when Eminem aren't doing insane shredding in unison, and it's just a lot simpler notes and simpler patterns, and I'm using, you know, simpler. It's not simple. Um, but compared to some of the stuff they, they have done, it still sounds fantastic. Just to prove them, they don't need to shred every single freaking time they do something. They're just... Amazing, amazing musicianships to, musicians together, regardless of how they play. Um, and I love Miho's constant bass line going on in the background. It's coming through really nice. Uh, it's fantastic. Love it. I love the melody on that solo from Miyako.
Amazing, 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 amazing. All right, let's talk. Yeah, we had a nice, nice different sound from them. A little bit of a, a blues, jazz, shuffle metal or rock or hard rock because it really wasn't that metalish. It was a lot more hard rockish than their normal style. Um, I mean, it was. I loved it. I love. I loved the change of pace. I loved the change there. Everyone did fantastic. And there's nothing you can really say about any of them. Uh, it was. It was just phenomenal. Even, it just shows they don't need to play the fastest stuff in the world or the most difficult stuff in the world. They play something like this, and it comes through. It's still Love Bites. There's nothing. I mean, Asami's vocals were freaking insane. They were great. Absolutely fantastic. All right, we're going to leave this one here. Uh, don't forget that I also stream. Like I said, this was the last one I needed for the Heavy Metal Never Dies tour. Uh, so now... Add this to my list of concerts that I will be streaming on Twitch at some point. Uh, so if you're not following me on Twitch, make sure you are. Uh, links are all in the description uh, below. Don't forget, vote in our Fan Choice Friday poll. Will you guys decide what I react to every Friday? All you have to do is find the poll in the community tab, vote for the band, and whoever wins, that's who I react to. Very, very easy process. It really can't be any easier for you guys. All you have to do is vote, and I have to do all the work. So make me do some work. Uh, with that, I hope everyone has a great day, and I'll catch you all next time.